Despite recent losses to Sydney and Geelong, Brad Scott has no doubt North Melbourne can beat the best in the competition. They get another chance on Friday night up against the reigning Premiers. The Kangaroos coach took our own Julian de Stoop for a spin to celebrate a new three-year deal with Mazda. Brad, first of all, thanks for taking us for a spin. I hope you're a good driver. Uh, just going back uh, to last week's game, how much did you actually learn out of that, given the significant injury problems, particularly to your midfield, that you, you got during that game? Oh, I, th I think we, we took some valuable lessons out. I mean, we, we had a pretty strong focus uh, in our review of what we did poorly even before we got a few injuries. So uh, I, I think it would be um, unfair to say that it was... It, we played poorly because of circumstance. I mean, we, we started poorly in our view as well. So we didn't set the game up the way we wanted to. And then obviously things were exacerbated from there. How many of those four players that you lost, Cunnington, Swallow, uh, Atley and Del Santo, do you expect to play on Friday night? Uh, it's really difficult to say at this point. Um, we're probably more optimistic in, in terms of the prognosis today uh, than we were Saturday night. Uh, so all of them are good enough not to be ruled out at this stage. Um, but. That being said, we probably can't rule them in until at least Thursday. Wayne Carey said last night he believed it might be a good thing for you to even rest those four players if they're not 100% and get them right for the following week against Adelaide. Would that ever come into your thinking? I don't think resting's the, the, the right word. I mean, I, I think we've, we're certainly in a position where if they're not very close to 100%, then uh, we'd be foolish to play them. Uh, we certainly took that view with Todd Goldstein uh, last weekend, and um, but he was good enough uh, to play and, and to perform somewhere near his best. If we can get those guys back to close to 100%, they'll play. But if they're if they're a fair way off, then you know, we'd be foolish to try and rush them back in. Last time you played Hawthorne, they were very physical and obviously crossed the line a couple of times. Is it very important you get on the front foot this week? I think when you play really good sides, the, the you have to bring a physical edge to your game, and, and it's something that. Um, a lot of our players in particular pride themselves on uh, and we're looking forward to the challenge. So the, the, the physical edge that we want to bring against Hawthorne will, will, will certainly um, go a long way to the result and you know we'll, we know exactly what to expect from them. They'll be bringing that physical edge as well. Do you expect them to have a similar approach as they did 12 months ago? Oh, I hope so. I hope so because they're, they're, um, they've proven over a long period of time that they're a really solid team and, and you know, probably if Luke Hodge plays, that brings another physical edge um, back to their team. So, you know, we're, we're not shying away from the challenge. Do you understand why there are still sceptics about your ability to perform against the better sides in the competition? Um, no, because I don't think it's factual. I mean, I, I think if you look over the last few years, um, you know, you, you don't play in preliminary finals without beating the best sides. Um, so, you know, the the... I don't buy into it too much. I don't really concern myself with it. Um, but it's been, I've joked that, that it's, um, that it's been really helpful because um, when you're going really well, uh, sometimes the coach, it's very difficult to keep your players level-headed. And uh, certain members of the media have been doing that really well for me. Halfway mark of the season, obviously you'll assess it a lot at the bye, but how much better a side do you think you are this year than the previous two where you've had to scrap to get into the eight? Oh, significantly better, uh, significantly better. We've, um, we've got uh, our, our more experienced players in, in arguably career best form. Uh, we've got a lot more depth on our list. Um, we've played a lot of players this year. With the Hawks this week, do you still see them as the benchmark team in the competition? Yeah, I think they've earned that right over a long period of time. Um, but, you know, they've been... The fact is, I think they've... they've um, the sign of a really great side is you can play um, probably a little bit below your absolute best and still win. And Hawthorne have been able to do that really well. Um, you know, sitting nine and three, uh, I think by their own admission, they, they haven't replicated some of their elite form over the last few years. So uh, that's a sign of a, of a great team. And... Um, we built a, a nice, healthy rivalry against Hawthorne over the last few years, and, and we're looking forward to, to again taking on what I think is the benchmark of the comp. Well, Brad, you're a good driver in heavy traffic as a player. You've done well again today, and uh, good luck against the Hawks on Friday night. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jules.